we gotta talk about Asian snacks. So many Asian kids, like myself, when we brought these snacks to school, we used to get made fun of, right? Because the kids wouldn't know what they were. So now, we're here to demystify them. Let's start with Pockies. These are sweet, they're delicious, they're crunchy. Mmm, yeah. Just the way I remembered them. Representation matters. And it's about more than just, you know, actors on a screen. It's about snacks. It's about food, it's about culture in every possible way. Japanese rice crackers, they're like wonderfully sweet, savory kind of rice cakes, shredded squid. Absolutely delicious. Don't give me that look. I know you're giving me that look right now from across the screen. Mm. White rabbit candy, otherwise known as da by tool. Delicious, iconic lemon tea drink from Vita, lunchbox staple. And my personal favorite, shrimp crackers. Shrimp crackers is actually exactly what I was eating when I got the call that I was gonna play Shang-Chi. The Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> this is the um, the chain that Yu-Gi-Oh had on, the actual chain that Yu-Gi-Oh had on. This was like a tribute piece kind of. Me and Juice World was talking about him getting this piece in general, and since he wasn't able to do it, I just decided to do it myself. And it's also like a really big thing of my childhood. Like Yu-Gi-Oh was a really big thing of my childhood. I never used to have cable, so I used to watch like CBS and I had to wait the Saturday mornings for it to come on. <laughs> like I used to dream about waking up and watching that <laughs> So yeah, definitely Yu-Gi-Oh piece. You dig me? <laughs> Here's another thing I'll talk about. If you change your socks in the middle of the day, it changes your whole day. I'm always telling my friends that carry a pair of socks with you and halfway through the day, just put on a new pair of socks. You're like a whole new person. I've been doing this for like 15 years or so and uh, I always have an extra pair of socks on me. I don't have particularly sweaty feet. That's not what it is. I don't want people to watch this video and be like, oh, I don't need this because Kamel's got sweaty, smelly feet. I don't have sweaty feet. And honestly, my feet don't smell. I think it's like just a, whenever you think of it, whenever you feel like you need like a little jolt to your day, you know, I'm realizing how depressing it is <laughs> that when I want real excitement to show up in my day, I put on a new fresh pair of socks. Ah, oh, I should get out more. I should try some drugs. I've heard those are fun. This bad boy right here is my PS5, my PlayStation 5. This is an essential for my day. I mean, like whenever I go home and uh, and I have some chill time, I'm right in my bedroom playing this shit. I'm playing 2K because I'm trying to get really good. Growing up, I was terrible at games and I, I never really played games that much. And I, yeah, and I, at least I, I wasn't good at them at all. But now in my, in my free time, I've just become a fucking 2K addict and now I'm like, trying to be like the greatest 2K player of all time. And I, I don't know, I'd like to think I'm on my way. Man, my life has been very blessed. I have seen people from all walks of life and realized that just like, you know, when you watch Forrest Gump, he just will run across all these historic moments. I wanted to document it. These cameras are special because you can take a photo and document the moment and give it to the person. And I just have, over the last few years, so many incredible moments captured with this camera and a few others. I just felt like I need to be capturing this stuff. I feel like Forrest Gump. I feel like Gump in this mug. When I was a kid growing up, we have all these photos. And you know, after Hurricane Katrina, we lost a lot of pictures. This life is so fleeting, right? And you get to these moments where you can see things that were important to you in a picture and it just brings you to a perspective of how special it is to be here. See, it's coming together, see it? Man, it's coming together. This is kind of like my singing goodies. I've got um, this Manuka honey, which is so delicious. It's actually like dessert, I'm gonna have it right now. Mmm, it's so good. Just honey, throw coat. Singer's necessities. Grether's Pastilles, also Singer Necessities. And this is a brand new box of Entertain Your Secret Spray. And this I will use if I like, the other day I did James Corden uh, Crosswalk, the musical, and I just had absolutely no voice. And that is like the most stressful situation ever for a singer when you have to sing and you're like, it's not coming out. And this is kind of like a little miracle. I don't use it all the time, but dry throat and hoarse voice and it just will kind of throat, what, coat, 
tote coat. So that's my little singer's pouch. Here I got my Bogey Boys golf balls. I have become obsessed with golf in the last two years and starting a brand called Bogey Boys. These are our Pro V1s. I actually drew that little dog on the front of it, that little cute ass dog playing golf. God, what a character. These are our own balls and inside of here, more LV, I have Bogey Boys golf balls. They got the BB on them and I always carry the special ball. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. Thanks, Sam. Jordan 1s. Um, these are the trophy room Jordan 1s. Collab, the sweet. They're a little dirty. I, I wore these shoes at Lollapalooza. They got a signature right here. A little sparkly, I don't know if you can see that on camera. When you look at them straight, they're like not color, but if you move, they sparkle. Every show, for the most part, I'm gonna be wearing Jordan 1s. They're just super comfy and durable. I can move around when I lace them up like tight, I can move around, it feels good. And this is definitely essential to a show. I like like simple, like nothing crazy colors and stuff like that. So anything with the white as the main and then the colors I, I really like. How many Jordan 1s do I own? I own probably about around 50 pairs, easily. My next item is something that mean a lot to me. Like, it's a card from my aunt. She like my mama too at the same time. She been fighting cancer and she's super strong. And it's just, she said some real meaningful words in her. So it's like when I get down or when I feel like I'm against the world and ain't nobody understanding me, don't nobody get me, nobody in my corner, I had to remind myself like I got real love. So I keep this with me and I read it. Like I don't take it everywhere I go, but I gotta read it and keep it like, keep it close. She gave me this for Valentine's Day. It's a Valentine's Day card. She told me I was a Valentine. Shout out to my auntie, Auntie Rita. My last essential is my surfboard. This is what I'm currently riding. Shout out to 88 surfboards. I like riding foamies. I'm only two years into surfing. Whenever I ride a foamy, I go for more waves. I feel more like if I fuck up or if something bad happens, I'm not gonna hurt anyone or hurt myself. What I love about 88 is you should watch their videos. Their whole ethic is having fun. They're like serious Aussie surfers that grew up in all the harshness of surf culture. They can rip on anything, but they're like, we just wanna have fun and ride foamies and I just, like fucking life is so serious. Like I just want to try and have a good time and smile. 